So we are going to draw this pulley. The cross section is given here. So let's create a new doc but document. So we are creating from the front plane, front sketch. We are going to use this dynamic mirror entity. So whatever you, you draw, it will mirror over to the other. Okay, let's start draw a draw a center line. Click, draw a vertical line. Center line again, draw a horizontal line. Okay, click the dynamic mirror entity, select a line, select this line. And you will see the, the, the two, two, two parallel line symbol attached to the end of the line. So now we can we can sketch. Go to line. Coincident to the center line. Click. Click. Draw a vertical line. Draw an angular line. Draw a vertical line. Horizontal line. Click and jump up eighty degree. Okay, coincident to the center line. Click. Okay, now we do the dimension. So we are dimensioning this portion here 5mm click click the center line so this this is we are not going to do dimension like that we're going to make it diameter move the cursor to the left click 5 and click here and this line to make 4 So now we are going to create the 29 mm dimension, but we want to, to the dimension to start from the up. So to do that, we have you have to press the shift key, click the up, click the center line, move the cursor to the left, click. And make it 29. Now we can make this angle the horizontal 8 degree. Then the distance from here. The diameter here is 40. Okay. Let's dimension this 20. Select this line. In the center line here and make it 20.
select this this corner in the center line and make 24 select this line and the center line to make 80 so our sketch is fully defined and we can revolve go to picture tab select revolve base click revolve boss the axis of revolution should be this line and click ok so our model is completed thanks for watching the, the video